So we're in the town of Ollanto, getting ready to hop on Peru Rail to head to wherever it is we're going to head to, to get onto the Inca Trail. By itself, the train ride is pretty amazing. You'll travel through some pretty spectacular scenery on your way to the Inca Trail and parallel to the Urubamba River, which is pretty epic. We're getting ready to arrive at our stop. Well, look at that. where we are right now is Chachabamba. Any name with the end in Bamba means valley. Winyo Iwaina is the point where we're going to have a line. From here to there is like a three hours, three hours and a half, four hours in order to reach this place. It's supposed to be a four hour hike to our first stop and then I think we have another two hour hike after that. So the trail we're hiking is called the Camino Trail. Our hike started off by crossing that same epic river that we had been admiring our entire train ride. That bridge was a lot shakier than I was comfortable with. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of selfies on this hike. Jimmy's one of our guides today. He's gonna make sure we don't die out here. <laughs> I was kind of only half joking with our guide Jimmy there. While I wouldn't call this hike treacherous, you will be hiking along some narrow paths with thousand foot drop-offs to either side of you. There are so many Incan ruins along this trail. After only five minutes of hiking, we ran into our first site. You know, this is a, a small Inca remind. This is part of the Inca's construction. So when we talk about the Incas, you know, it's one of the last civilizations running in South America. As I mentioned before, we're on the trail known as the Camino Real de los Incas, also known as the Sacred Inca Trail or the two-day trek. We hiked the two-day trek in one day. Normally you hike in four hours to Wine Huayna and you camp somewhere near there and then you do the rest of the two hours to Machu Picchu the next day. But we hiked the entire six hours in one day. Almost two hours in, it's beautiful here. At tent mate, our guides, uh, this is like a walk in the park for them. I'm a little bit out of shape. Got another two hours. Hopefully I can make it all the way through. I'm definitely making it all the way through. But it's definitely a little bit more challenging than a walk through Central Park. The next two hours took us through some pretty breathtaking scenery. You're probably gonna get tired of me using words like breathtaking, beautiful, amazing, epic, but there's really no other way to describe this place. And just as Wine Huayna became visible, we ran into this gorgeous waterfall. Okay, where we are right now is a place called Wine Huayna, Forever Young. So the location of this place is close to Machu Picchu. And the Incas probably built this place between 1450 century to 1530. After climbing a few more 600 year old Incan staircases, we finally made it to our lunch spot. So we just finished the first part of the hike and made it to our lunch spot. This lunch was amazing as well as everything else we ate on this trip. The company we hiked with is called Southern Peru Explorers and I can't recommend them highly enough. They were very professional and made sure we had an amazing experience. After lunch, we got back on the trail and about an hour into it, we got our first glimpse of Machu Picchu. We made it to a viewpoint of Machu Picchu. This isn't the normal viewpoint you see like on Instagram. This is a different viewpoint. It's beautiful from here, nonetheless. After about an hour of hiking mostly downhill, which was nice, we made it to our destination. We made it to Machu Picchu. It's just as awe-inspiring as I thought it would be. Um, actually, probably a little more. Um, I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I was having a little moment over there a little bit ago. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And for whatever reason, it's later in the day. So the group I'm with, we basically have Machu Picchu to ourselves. After about an hour and a half, two hours at Machu Picchu, we headed down to our campsite. We're going to be camping below Machu Picchu tonight, and then we're gonna go back and hang out at Machu Picchu again tomorrow. But uh, this is where we're camping tonight. After another amazing dinner and this awesome breakfast that you see here, we headed back up to Machu Picchu to tour the interior. 
So we're back at Machu Picchu, but it's a little bit different experience today. Yesterday we hiked in later in the evening, so we basically had Machu Picchu all to ourselves. Today is what you'll probably get if you just come to Machu Picchu. You don't do the Incan Trail into Machu Picchu. You'll basically get kind of a touristy trap experience. So I'm interested to see how different it is today. It's also rainy and overcast where yesterday there was just a few clouds and it was just the perfect weather. I think it's gonna be two different Machu Picchu experiences and I'm really happy I had the opportunity to do Machu Picchu the way we did it yesterday. While touring the interior of Machu Picchu might not be as epic as the hike in, it's still a fascinating and beautiful place to explore. I highly recommend getting a tour guide when you take a tour of Machu Picchu and when you hike the Inca Trail. One thing that I failed to mention before is all the tour guides that hike the Inca Trail or that are at Machu Picchu have to have a college degree before they can give a tour. So these individuals are very knowledgeable. In fact, it's their career. They've devoted their whole life to this. But to this sun, during the day, you had to see by the mirrors. So the purpose of those mortars here were used in order to see the reflection. After a couple more hours of exploring the interior of Machu Picchu, the group I was with, we were all kind of exhausted and ready to head back to Cusco. Little did we know that the next day we would be hiking Rainbow Mountain, which in my opinion is an even more difficult hike than the Inca Trail. My name is Kevin and last year I quit my job to travel the world full time. I make these videos every week so you are inspired to work less and travel more. Please click here if you'd like to join me for more travel adventures and inspiration.